Shamoon, uh, you are uh, you are something which is which you're already doing like a tech stuff and all that. So uh, you are already leading a fast digital wealth management company in the country. So can you uh, can you share what your company is doing and what is the scope of wealth management in Pakistan, specifically with reference to fintech-based platforms? And uh, where do you see more growth coming in into this segment of uh, the uh, capital market? Uh, the, uh, thank you, Amit. Actually, uh, we started that in January, so that was at that time I had a very clear view. Uh, but to start with the capital markets, uh, uh, Mr. Tabba has actually used all my points, so I don't know what to share. But I'll put some data into perspective. 2005 part, uh, case, uh, uh, market market cap was $39 billion. Today, it's $30 billion. Daily trade value today is $31 million. That time, it was $150 $200 million. So where is the market growth? For 20 years, we have actually gone down. And obviously, it is linked to the economy. Uh, it is uh, obviously linked to the economy. And we have to go back 50, 60 years when we, uh, in before 60s, we were ahead of Singapore, Korea. In 80s, uh, China took over uh, and exceeded us. In 90s, India. In 2010, Bangladesh. And in 2013, Vietnam. Uh, but we should be glad that we can actually compare ourselves to South, South Sudan, maybe. Uh, uh, hope not if we lose in like uh, three years. Uh, so obviously, uh, most of the companies are sitting here. I, I was a shareholder, and uh, uh, as, as a partner at Tundra, we invested in 17 frontier and emerging market countries. And I personally traveled and lived there, and uh, we set up Pakistan office in 2013, sorry, 14, and in 2015 in, in Vietnam. And when we started investing in Vietnam in 2013, I went back to Stockholm and I proudly said, Pakistan is here, Vietnam is here. Uh, today, Vietnam is here and Pakistan is nowhere. And um, so I think it all boils down to we are not addressing the real problem of this country. That's Islamabad. It's not the regulators. I worked with State Bank. I worked with SCCP. I actually traveled with Stock Asia and SCCP to lobby for Pakistan to be upgraded to the emerging markets. Uh, I went to New York. My other colleagues went to London and so forth. Um, every year, we brought five to six foreign investors into the country and including three sovereign funds and the latest one was in January this year and they had a location of around 100 million dollars to start with for the capital markets I can't name the, uh, name the country but I can just hint you that it's it's a country to whom army chief calls for aid so investment is lying out there we are not taking it we are uh, we are actually a self-destructive economy at the end of the day. So I think, but, but you know, the good part is, very interesting part, and I've been presenting Pakistan at multiple states, even uh, in, in stages, in, like, in the states department, and I've been using Bloomberg data. Since 2010, in like 12 years, the, I'm not talking about the performance of the market, but I will talk about the fundamentals of, 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 of the market. In 12 years, the profitability growth of KC100 as a sample is 12% in dollar terms, highest in the world. A dividend yield 7% dollar terms, highest in the world. But when you look at the multiples, your companies are 5, the same company in India is 21. I'm not sure if they make gold-coated cement, I don't know, but like maybe something is there. We look at Bangladesh, 12. Vietnam, 11. So something's wrong. Something's wrong, not wrong with the regulators, with the, uh, with the market itself. It will evolve. Uh, and things will, do change. And we have to look at, we have just have to look at the data. I think uh, why we call this boom and burst cycle. There's a reason to it. And when you look at the last 20, 30 years, and you use the data analysis, uh, you'll find that there is a trigger to that boom and burst. It's not exchange rate, it's, it's not interest rate, it's not uh, any fundamental story. It's something happens in Islamabad and every, all of a sudden we are, we are having current account deficit, we are having interest rate problems, 
Uh, and Dr. Inayat Sahib said, like, we all know the problems, uh, but like when we talk about the, we, we have to do something, right? Solution. The solution is, sir, we need to look out of the box. But you are the box. People sitting here actually are the box. Here, Bank's president for 30 years, same. Like, how many billionaires have been created in Pakistan in the last 30 years? We still have Manchas, we still have Daoud, we still have Tabaz, and like, obviously, you have exceeded uh, uh, a bit more. But like, it's a pretty much the same story. But when you look at India, you have created billionaires in altogether a different uh, uh, story. I don't know what's the problem with this, like, people clinging on their seats and looking for extensions. Something is wrong, I guess. So, but like at the end of the day, why we started, so uh, uh, it, it was a brainchild of myself and Matthias, uh, and we, we, we wanted to bring the Swedish pension and savings model into Pakistan. And uh, exactly the issue that uh, basically uh, connecting the retail uh, directly to the, to the bond markets and to the capital markets. Because the problems are really simple. The issue is like, as Seema Kamal said, like the long-term uh, assets uh, and liability mismatch. We were working with the Prime Minister office on the pension reforms, and things were moving. Uh, even KPK government moved from defined benefit, defined contribution, uh, and we were actually trying to create that bond market and having direct access for the retail to directly have uh, access to the government treasuries. And just to put numbers into perspective, uh, the biggest expense on the government's balance sheet is it's a debt servicing, right? So the banks, in the name of Islam, it's 0% or like it's 5%. They lend it out to the government, 16%. Why not connect the retail directly to the, to the government? Their saving rate increases, the government borrowing cost uh, decreases, your fiscal deficit is sorted. I guess it, it, it's a pretty much simple solution, but we are still on track and uh, uh, we will be actually using the digital channels for the onboarding, for the advice, and for the execution as well. Uh, last week, we tested our first algorithmic trading. Uh, we built the infrastructure for it to go to. Uh, so no human intervention so far. So, yeah, let's do it. Thank you, Shamoon. Uh,